Okay, today we're gonna try fixing what I see as one of the bigger de design flaws, not design flaws, but the biggest issue I have with both of these devices, the Mr. FPGA in its like kind of raw form, not in you know one of these ITX solutions and the Raspberry Pi 5, which I know my Pi 5 probably looks a little weird. I'll probably deep dive this um, at some point and show you guys what I use this for. Um, but uh, the thing I find most annoying is that in order to power them on and off, you need to unplug them and then plug them back in. And so that puts uh, undue wear on that port. It's inconvenient for where I have these devices positioned. Um, and so how do we fix that? Um, so the, both of these use USB-C power. Uh, and I think, I know the Pi uses PD standard i don't i don't know about the mister um so i don't think a, a simple inline switch like the kind of thing you'd find for like three bucks is necessarily going to work so um you might have heard of canna kit before they are you know been making raspberry pi accessories for uh ages i know like my first raspberry pi like the first one i think like they had the wi-fi adapter for it so we've ordered is two of these uh inline uh, power switches and we're gonna see if these work for um, I mean I know it's gonna work with the Pi right so let's okay so it's on there and yeah so I right, won't plug it light goes off plug this guy in Light is off, hit the switch, light is on. Boom, too easy. Let's give that a shot for the mister as well. The mister I'm probably getting, uh, I'll show you where this is going in a setup later. So um, like in another video, you'll see why it wouldn't be convenient to reach around and um, power that on and off every time. So. Here we go. Power's off. Oh, I lost the foot. Power's on. Too easy. All right, I'll leave a link to these on Canakit. Again, they're not as cheap as they are on Amazon. Uh, the cheap ones are on Amazon, and uh, you know they charge shipping and whatever. But um, you know, for what I paid, I'm happy to have this convenience. Um, that's it for now. See you in the next one.